and welcome to the AgriLearn podcast. I'm your host, Raina Nalao, an emerging full-time commercial farmer, as well as the brand ambassador for the Women and Youth Loan Scheme at the Agricultural Bank of Namibia. Today, I'm joined by Mr. Erastus Ngaruka, once again, who is a technical advisor at the Agricultural Bank of Namibia, specializing in rangeland and livestock production. Mr. Ngaruka, it's always a pleasure to have you on AgriLearn. Likewise, podcast. thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me. Awesome. Yeah. So today we're talking about rainwater harvesting. Let's get right into it. What's your definition of rainwater harvesting? Okay, uh, rainwater harvesting uh, is that uh, process or any method that you are using yeah. to capture uh, rainfall water. Mm -hmm. So it can either be the falling drops from the sky mm -hmm. or the water running across maybe your farmland or so. Uh -huh. So whatever way you, that you are using to make sure that you make use of that water, yeah. it's rainfall, water harvesting. Awesome. Mm. Now, which parts of the country harvest rainwater the most? Okay. Yeah, I think uh, the, almost the entire parts of the country yeah. harvest rainwater. Mm -hmm. So how are we doing it? If you talk of the cities, for example, or the towns, mm -hmm. maybe a city like Windhoek, yeah. they have a drainage system that mm -hmm. when this water runs, yes. they are drained uh, down uh, underground yeah. just to fill the aquifers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we have the big dams that we have. Yes. We have the Hartab Dam, we have the, the recent uh, Nikatel Dam. Mm -hmm. It was constructed for the purpose of harvesting rainwater. Awesome. So almost all over the country we are harvesting rainfall water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, why is it important for our farmers to harvest rain? Yes, uh, if you are talking about farming, yeah. there's, uh, agriculture uses water. Definitely, farming a uses lot of water. it actually. Yes, your chickens need water, yeah. your livestock need uh, water, your crops need water. Yeah. So, but then in some areas we have uh, low water supply in mm -hmm. terms of underground water. Mm -hmm. So you need to always maximize that you at least use any amount of rainfall that comes. Yeah into good use. Okay. So you can have harvest uh, the rainwater, use that water for household uh, consumption, mm -hmm. for watering your crops, yeah. for even doing household chores like washing, uh, laundry and so forth. Mm -hmm. So it's very important because it also helps you to minimize the cost of water. Okay. Maybe if you are in an area where you are now expected to pay mm -hmm. water bills and so forth, yeah. you can complement that by harvesting rainfall water. Yeah. All right, you mentioned that um, even our cities um, harvest rainwater and um, that water is obviously um, purified mm. so that we are able to consume it at the end of the day. How then do farmers purify the water that they are harvesting in order to make sure that it's safe for them to consume? All right, uh, farmers, uh, our local farmers, yeah. They harvest rainwater mainly through the rooftop, uh, rooftop method. Okay. Yeah, so using their roof structures, mm -hmm. it can be a house that is a, a farmhouse, mm -hmm. or it can be a structure that was just constructed to just harvest rainfall water. Yeah. They use they use gutters, and then drums mm -hmm. to catch the water. Yeah. But then on those drums, they put some sieves or some nets, oh. yeah, just to uh, eliminate any debris that may fall into. Yeah. yeah. So, but then. Obviously, they don't have any sophisticated methods to purify, mm. but then it's just that the water has to fall into a clean uh, container, mm -hmm. and then any debris should be removed. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So, is it boiled, for example, maybe? Yeah. Uh, some at cooking they boil. Mm -hmm. You know, our African farmers uh, they trust in rain. <laughs> so, yeah. Most definitely. Yes, but then boiling is one way of. Uh, also purifying water or eliminating any harmful mm -hmm. uh, materials that might be in the water. Okay. But most of us or most farmers, we just straight away for as long as the water is clean, yeah. no debris, yeah. the container is clean, mm -hmm. they normally use it. Okay. And also, not just that they use rainfall water for consuming, mm -hmm. mostly they harvest it for other chores that do not require purification. Yeah, yeah. yeah like uh, laundry, mm -hmm. uh, watering your garden mm -hmm. and so forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the water that they have to drink, mm -hmm. mostly they will rely on their boreholes. Okay. Water that are perceived to be clean, okay. naturally. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now, what skills are required for farmers to have in order to harvest rain? 
are there any skills required for them to have? Yeah, not very much. For as long as you are able to construct a structure mm -hmm. that is able to catch the maximum amount of water or optimal amount of water. Okay. Uh, like your roof, the way you are constructing your house, mm -hmm. uh, you have to have a gutter that will have to channel water down to the drain to the mm -hmm. to your container. Mm -hmm. And if you are to harvest water, uh, maybe uh, flowing water. Yeah. Uh, you have to channel it. Mm -hmm. So it, you have to channel such that that water will end up somewhere mm -hmm. where you are able to now collect it. Mm -hmm. And then the channels that you are making should not even cause any further damage further down. Mm -hmm. And you should not also block the flow of water. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, because that's natural water, mm -hmm. it has to flow to somewhere. Mm -hmm. Everyone has to benefit. Mm -hmm. So at least make sure that you don't just block the water, yeah. but you channel a portion of it mm -hmm. to your to your household. Okay. Yeah. So it's all about the method that you are using that it does not disrupt the natural flow of water, mm -hmm. but only extract a few okay. for your use here. All right. Now take us through the process of um, rainfall harvesting. For somebody that has never heard of it, um, what, 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 what's the process of rainwater harvesting? Yeah, what is it that is expected? Mm -hmm. It's for the rainfall season to come. Yeah. And then you have to set up your structures mm -hmm. on how you are going to harvest it. Yeah. If it's root, the rooftop harvesting, you mm -hmm. can use your your your, your roof, your house, yeah. ha farmhouse. Or you can even construct a structure with a roof, yeah. with gutters that is able to catch and channel water to where you want it. You can either channel it directly onto a drum or onto a tank, mm -hmm. or even into a crop field where you are watering your your crops and so forth. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And with regard to the flowing water mm -hmm. on the ground, mm -hmm. uh, you need to also consider the catchment area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You cannot catch or channel water from anywhere. Mm -hmm. So you have we have to consider the catchment area, mm -hmm. and then so the catchment area is that place where I was about to ask you that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's now the spot uh -huh. or that area uh, with a it's a specific feature mm -hmm. or gradient yeah yeah that is able to channel as much water as you as it can mm -hmm. but then you don't have to dis disturb the catchment water mm -hmm. i mean the catchment area yeah. the natural catchment area you okay. don't have to disturb it you only have to channel from there mm -hmm. to where you want it either by a channel like a ground channel mm -hmm. or you can pipe it yeah yeah so there's many ways or you can have a small pond just oh. near the catchment area, okay. not directly onto the catchment area, yeah. but just by the side where you can now have it, take your water. Okay. Mm. Awesome. So it's nothing difficult, nothing yeah. uh, strange. Yeah. It's just that you have to not disturb the natural catchment areas mm -hmm. and the natural flow of water. Okay. Yeah. Earlier on, you mentioned a few benefits of uh, rainwater harvesting. Could you just give us a few more? Yeah. So number one, you are cutting costs. Of course. Yeah, if you are paying water bills and you have your rain, uh, rain water, mm -hmm. yes, you are complementing yeah. uh, on your household water use. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, you are watering your crops. Mm -hmm. You know, we have competition between us, farmers, our, our gardens, yeah. and the livestock. We yes. all want water. Yes. So, but then how do we minimize this competition? Mm -hmm. So I can rely on my tap water, mm -hmm. but then my livestock and my crop, I can give them rainfall water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at least you are dr just trying to minimize the pressure on your borehole, yeah. the pressure on your water pumps and so forth, Definitely. by just um, using rainfall water. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can use your boreholes, maybe in difficult times, but mm -hmm. during the rainy season, mm -hmm. uh, you can complement with rainfall water. Awesome. Yeah. All right, let's move on to our last question. What are the risks involved with regards to rainwater harvesting? Okay, um, you know, when we are talking of uh, climate change, for example, mm. there's, there's specific activities that are resulting into the climate to change the way it's changing. Yeah. So if we are maybe releasing a lot of gases, uh, these greenhouse gases yeah. out in the air, yeah. so they also contaminate the, the rainfall water. Yeah. Yeah, so even the structures that you are using, for example, your roofs, maybe they, they were things stored on your rooftop, yeah. like chemicals and so forth. Mm -hmm. So whatever comes with water yeah. can contaminate the water That's and true. even poison you yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and other ri risk will be like flowing water. Mm. So imagine 
if you have to construct a dam uh, in the middle of the river. Mm. So what if that river overflows and or the dam breaks? Yeah. Then obviously that could be flooding. Uh, for example, look at the hard up dam. Sometimes it it, it fills to capacity, mm -hmm. but then when they have to open the gates, what happens? Yeah, flooding. Exactly. So it's very important that you don't have to have too much disturbance mm. on the natural flow of water. Yeah. Yeah, but channel it, and where you are channeling it, make sure that you don't channel it to cause flood again further. Mm. Yeah. So your collection should be minimal yeah. to your use, not just overdo it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all about water contamination, mm -hmm. where you are harvesting from or the drums or the tents that you are using mm -hmm. yeah and also not to cause any flooding yeah. further okay yeah by disturbing the flow okay yeah thank you so much good yeah, any final remarks from your side yeah let us uh, minimize minimize farming costs uh, by complementing our costs especially water mm -hmm. uh, with rainfall water harvesting mm -hmm. let us also minimize in fact let us integrate our farming mm, yeah nicely put yeah. yeah let us just integrate let's have different enterprises yeah. that are also complementing each other mm -hmm. and for that to succeed is also when you're conser conserving water and soil mm -hmm. so water conservation mm -hmm. you can also refill your aquifers through rainwater harvesting mm -hmm and you can complement your watering costs yeah. through rainwater harvesting. Mm -hmm. So let's just integrate our farming systems. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Mr. Garuka, always a pleasure talking to you. Mm -hmm. Before I let you go, shall we visit uh, the site? Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Let's go. Okay, so we are at uh, Farm Khrot Roybelt in uh, the Omaheke region. And uh, Mr. Garuka, we are on site. Please tell us what's going on here. All right, we just talked about rainwater harvesting, mm -hmm. so using the rooftop method. Yeah. Okay, so if you see this whole uh, pipe, mm -hmm. what is it doing? It's catching water from the gutter mm -hmm. uh, across the rooftop, yeah. and then it channels it down to to the water uh, to the uh, to the plants. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this is just direct watering from the uh, rooftop. Mm -hmm. So you can either water directly. Mm -hmm. channel the water directly into the plants mm -hmm. or you can store it for later use or for using during hard times okay maybe during drought for example okay so this one is a direct harvest and also immediately flow to the your crop field or to your your beds where you are planting your veggies and so forth okay and as you can see these white rocks mm -hmm. what are they there for yeah they are also there to limit the flow oh yeah it's like they are limiting the velocity of water so that the water can settle okay yeah all right so Good. there is no interruption of uh, natural flow here mm -mm. okay no this is just rooftop <laughs> yeah down down here okay but then here the rocks will make sure that the water settles okay that it doesn't flow and also to cause erosion and also to wash your vegetables away okay but the rocks will protect mm -hmm. and they will settle the water all right and so for direct water harvesting it's always important to have rocks present yes if you want to water your plants directly yeah, yeah. from the rooftop yeah make sure that because the purpose of harvesting is to have water yes so and where do you want that water yeah. there at that particular spot mm -hmm. so you need to make sure that the water does not flow away to other areas mm. but then remains where you want them to okay so this is why the rocks are here mm -hmm. just to limit the flow yeah. and to settle the water mm -hmm. for your plants awesome yeah thank you so much all right right second site what's going on here all right so where we were first mm -hmm. that was rainwater harvesting yeah still with the rooftop yeah but then that water goes directly to the crop crop field or to your veggies yeah. or whatever you are planting mm -hmm. so but now you can also harvest from the rooftop mm -hmm. and store you can either use drums mm -hmm. or you can either use tanks those big ones mm -hmm. for to store and use for or for later use mm -hmm. or maybe during hard times maybe drought times and so forth yeah so yes the water is channeled from up there mm -hmm. into this drum okay yeah so then you you have to close it mm -hmm. for storage if you are to use it uh, at a later stage uh -huh. or you can also use the green tanks you i'm sure you are familiar with those ones yeah 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 okay. so it's either direct use mm -hmm. or storage for later use okay yeah, so awesome. that is the benefit of uh, rainfall water harvesting. Awesome. You have water immediately and you have water later. Yeah, awesome. Group. So your crops are healthy and they are not thirsty. Every time? Every time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.
good. Well, farmers, that's all we had for you on today's episode titled Rainfall Harvesting. Until the next episode, it's bye-bye.